And surely even you guys can hear that. Jesus fucking... Oh, shut the fuck, you goddamn stupid dog! Oh, Jesus! Anyway, guys, what's up? Scottish Tech, once again, welcome back to more Threads of Fate Let's Playing our time. Okay, now... You may be able to tell from me pressing start right here that I have not done any specific grinding whatsoever. And that's because me and my infinite wisdom forgot to fail to realize that... You can't, in fact, leave the town and go back to Corona Forest. That I thought you could, but you can't. Eh? Okay, so... What we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go back here and show you this alleyway first. Alright. Uh, there's nothing really here. Uh, you go, this is a pub. All that really happens in here is some cutscenes. I think you can buy food. I don't even know what it does. What does it do? Oh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> I was about, uh, there you go, you learn something new every day. Let's see, that's milk, that's root beer, and that's the other one. And someone's just walking in, Jesus Christ, it's like, everybody wants to, what do you want? What do you want? <laughs> okay, everybody likes to be super rude, but at the same time they like to be polite, and when they're not wanted, so yeah. I have a wonderful family. Right, what's in this shop? I have a wonderful family, but I'm a horrible person. <laughs> I feel bad now. <laughs> it's like a play, Gibbs! Get the fuck out! Go out now! And here you can, like, level yourself up, so to speak. You can also sell your coins here if you want. You can also, uh... Yeah, you can sell coins, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's damned expensive. Look at that, 30,000 gold to get your shit up a bit. I guess if you've got hundreds of free money, uh, you can. But I would only recommend doing that after you, um... After you've bought the best, like, weapons in the game. You know, like, we've got the, uh, silver bracelet the new? Uh, we don't actually have the second one yet. And um, we could buy it if I managed to beat Ron two times. Now I have actually beaten him once. I went and beat him once off screen. So he, he's going to be slightly harder now than he was when I fought him previously. So I might not be able to do this. I should be able to since he's only gone up one. But let's try anyway. You actually really don't get to see anything that special for beating him so um don't think you guys are missing out on anything if I end up not showing this on screen. Which I probably will. And as you progress through the game, he's gonna have different weapons. Like, right now, he's like... He's like Majima fa Yakuza, I mean, Jesus. And you have to attack him from behind. Whoa. I, I, I mean, I've never attacked these dog before. Right, he's actually... I guess he's pretty easy. Oh god. The dog is throwing off my auto tower again! You little fucking bitch! Oh god, nah, I don't think I've done this, guys. I'm a disgrace. Yep, there we go. I couldn't do it. <laughs> I could probably do it if I level up my thing a bit more, you know, but I just got to, uh... That's something I'm definitely gonna have to grind for. It's just... Yeah, I don't actually think I'm even gonna record that long. I'm just... I'm literally gonna do one part here. Just to uh, open up the thing, you know, and I, I just showed you that stuff. There's Mira there. Mira is apparently an... It's never brought up in the story. You only figure out if you talk to people outside, but... Mira is apparently like a master swords woman, and she married, like, a avid researcher and shit, so yeah. Anyway, cutscene. Every time I hear the word Atelier, I think of the Atelier games, you know, like, I've got Atelier Tutori on my shelf right now, I've had it for, like, a couple of months, not even played it yet. The Atelier Iris games were pretty good on a PS2. Anybody play those? Anybody? Just me? Oh look, square brackets relic. Right, what do you want? The relic is sealed to the end of the screen. The relic shares him with steel. So he sucked his own dick. There's nothing really interesting about the doctor's room that I can point out. Ru has two ponytails. Powers of the past. Oh. 
Oh dear. It's a bit sad. I agree. Right, these underground ruins are a fucking. I don't like them. You're not gone anywhere. And I just realized I forgot to turn my speakers down. So I'm hearing an echo now. I didn't realize until the dog fell on his arse. And the dog's barking again. Shut the fuck up. Oh, Jesus. I just hate everybody in this house. Fuck them all. I'm the best. I'm too good for them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus. I feel like I'm playing Phoenix right here. <laughs> yeah, these, these cutscenes do tend to drag a bit, to be honest. Uh, okay, you just uh, stayed in there, Doc. Okay, well, another cutscene. She's still. <laughs> yes, exactly. She wanted to go out on a date with you. Ah well. And I believe we can actually go to the lake before we go to the ruins if we want to. All that's real. Uh, all that you really get there is. Nah, you can't. Eh? Fuck me. Alright, so go to the ruins, and I'm, I'm not even going to stay in the ruins that long before I turn it off, guys, because I've, uh, I've, I, I want to go grind, basically, before I do this properly, you know, I want to beat Rod a couple of times, I want to upgrade to the best bracer so that my defense and attack is at its max and shit, and I'm talking all over this cutscene, I'm sure that's doing an incredible number on the immersion factor, oh look, it's mint, the cutscene just got a million times better. Okay, and we're gonna tell her we don't remember because it'll be funnier. <laughs> that little stomp in the ground animation, I love it. trying to tell you that you're shite at what you do. Just like me. Aye, okay, we'll work together. <laughs> doesn't It really doesn't matter either way, you know, you can press anything and you'll get the same outcome, you know. Ah uh, yes, her jump kicking. That's also epic. <laughs> right, yeah, guys, now I'm just gonna say right off the motherfucking bat that this place is an absolute labyrinth. And the thing is, I'm pretty sure it's mega fucking simple, okay? Right, I've gotten to the part where I wanted to get to it anyway. I totally forgot to rest up there. This is exactly how the last part ended, wasn't it? Right, I guess I'll show you, you know, if you continue, you can, uh, pick coins, you know, like, recover with a quarter of MP, recover with half MP, or you can, you know, just go back to town, but when you go back to town, it kind of, uh, you go back in time, basically, 
I mean, I think you'll keep all your level up, and let's see. Yeah, you do. I've got 80 HP now. When I started the video, I had like 75, so you keep all your levels in that, but if I was to go back to the uh, Underground Ruins now, I would meet up with Mint again and, you know, go back in time, basically. Right, but now that that's that, I'm gonna, you know, grind a little. This was just one part, I know, but now I'm gonna go grind a little. I will uh, buy the uh, Bracer. I'll quickly show you, actually. For those of you that don't believe me. Uh, yeah, I've still got to buy the um, the Silver Belt. I can't remember the name of the best one. I'll look that up, actually, and I'll know for next time, honest. So, um, yeah. That's that, guys. Uh, yeah. See you after. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.